This is a very loved novel in Scotland. It's probably one of Scotland's most famous novels. How did you take that character and make her your own? Um, I suppose as a young woman, um, you can relate a lot to another young woman in so many ways. Um, also as well, like growing up in a very masculine world, you, you don't really have to reach so far with a lot of the themes. And from where she's from, even being English, you know, even being from Manchester, you're from the same plane of land. Like you know, you know what it's like in the countryside. You know what it's like to experience the climate and the people, even if it's not of of that time. You know, you still feel the history as someone from here. So I think that carries, you know, with everything that you do as an actor. Ewan is a sort of man of his time, man of the man of the earth, man of the world in Scotland. He is primal, base almost verging on kind of metaphorically animalistic and it's it's that kind of um, primal Scottish warrior that I wanted to get through but equally you know tender loving caring and, and, and so besotted with Chris and all that she is um, so so the journey that they go through without spoiling too much the journey that they go through for me is utterly compelling and, and equally kind of devastating and heartbreaking. I mean, well, I began making films because I needed to. Not, for, not to be famous or make a lot of money. I did it because I needed to do it, because I love film. Now it's digital, which is just as fabulous as um, film. But I, did, I do it because I, I want to do it well. That's um, so lovely to see someone so passionate about film. What's it like to see this amazing Scottish novel, because it's very acclaimed in Scotland, probably one of the most famous novels in Scotland, to see it adapted into a film? It's brilliant. I mean, I've not seen it yet, so I don't know. I don't know how it is. Um, but I trust Terence, and I know he's put his heart and soul into it. And, and I, hope it's, I hope it's a good adaptation, because oftentimes great books don't make great movies. Sometimes bad books make great movies, you know. Um, so it's not always that a, a, it's not a given that a great book will be a great a great movie. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping it'll be. I think it will be. I trust Terence. You know it will be. I know it will be. Have you read the novel? Yeah, many many times. No, I hadn't. No, no. It's one of the most famous ones. But um, no, I remember the old back in the day. The BBC did the trilogy. And they blew me away when I was a kid. And I always meant to get around to reading the books, but I never did. Well, I read it when I was 18, when I was still working as an accountant, a bookkeeper, I should say. Um, and I never thought I'd ever make films, because I was still working as an accountant. I was 18. Um, but I've never, never forgotten the power of it. it. When you read certain books, you never forget them. When I was 16, I read... Jane Eyre for the first time. I've never, never forgotten it. And when I read that at 18, I never, never forgot it. Especially the last two pages, which are unbearably moving. And I, I mean, and I read that novel a lot doing the adaptation, but every time I got to those last two pages, I read it through tears. It's a great, great novel. Do you feel pressure to, to do it justice? Because it is such a great novel. Yes. I mean, I met some of um, Lewis Grasser Gibbon's grandchildren and they liked it, I was glad to say, because I said, you know, I really did do it with my heart. And if they were, had been disappointed, that would have been awful. That just would have been awful. Because he's never had the fame that he deserves. And if he's up there now, at last you deserve it. You should be an actor. You're, you're very dramatic. I love it. It's brilliant. You don't get out a lot. I think with everything there's pressure, but with pressure comes excitement, you know, I, I felt uh, excited by the prospect of what could be in the rewards of doing a job like this, and uh, I very much was proud of telling this story, so therefore I, I really wanted to be a part of it, so there was pressure, of course, and there's always pressure, but I think pressure breeds quality, and, and for me this is, this is a really quality piece of filmmaking. Tian's great, it's a great atmosphere on set, you just walk on and you just enjoy yourself. From the start of, of auditioning, like till now, it's been um, it's been really inspiring as as an actor and as a young woman. Um, you know, for someone to have so much uh, integrity and creativity about what he's creating and uh, holding on to his vision until he he can facilitate it. And I mean, it's been a, a very long road for Terence, like 15 years. 
Um, so it's just amazing that he's, you know, he's now like, I watched it for the first time in Toronto and I was like so honored to be part of it because I could feel the weight of his experience in it. What was it like working with Agnes? Complete and utter joy. And that was the same for everyone else too. A complete and utter joy. Working with each and every one of them is unique because it's, it's their own personality. Some people are, well, everyone's different. In terms, it just creates this lovely, safe environment for everybody to work and, and feel you know, safe to try things. What's it like watching yourself on screen? Do you cringe or do you like to see yourself on screen? Because I know that when I hear my own voice, I can't stand it. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's funny, I always like, I feel like I go, I can have an objective perspective at times and I kind of watch it in a way that it's uh, a learning tool that I, that I actually learn from watching what I did and what I created um, to kind of have a perspective of it so for my next job that I can take what I've learned um, onto the next thing, yeah. I think it's for me uh, personally, Obviously, it's essential to, to, see, to see how things uh, translated. What is it about film that, that you love? What is it about directing that you love? Well, what it is, is sitting in a room that's darkened and the curtains go back and this light begins to flicker. That's magic. 